Before starting explaining some tool related to social engineering, and we will focus on a tool called Social Engineering Toolkit or SET. It's a very, very powerful tool that will allow you to create fake website and uh, to capture username and password or create fake websites that will install some malicious code on the victim machine and give you full access. Very, very powerful tool. I just want to start with some tool that allow you to spoof email. And if you associate the tools that I'm going to show you right now with the tools that we'll be talking about later on in this section, you will be able you will be able to do a lot of uh, integrated attack because mainly for social engineering their main tool are spoofed email and spoofed website people trust email blindly and if you send an email and the mail showing that is coming from one of their manager or friends they will trust it right away for normal people so if you send an email from showing that it came from his manager and you write that please download this application a PDF file and you do any malicious or you put any malicious software inside this PDF, most probably he will download this file or you put a link or something. So email, it's one of the very powerful tool to establish attack in social engineering. Now, I mentioned some tool on my previous video, except most of them was not that effective and uh, the mail usually came to the spam folder while here i'm going to point to uh, a website which i believe is a very powerful website as a free tools because if you pay for such services you'll find a lot of website so this is the website name uh, and it allows you to spoof email let's see how to do that so if we type an email showing it's coming from Bill Gates and we put the email of Bill Gates, for instance, B gets at my, this is not Bill Gates email, but I'm just showing you a proof of concept or you can change whatever you want. And then I'm going to send this email to myself. This is one of my email address. I don't know why I'm writing in capital. It doesn't matter anyway. And we can put any subject. So your Microsoft has be account has been blocked. Please click on this link to enable the account, for instance. And the mail is coming from Bill Gates. Now you can attach whatever you want. You can put the message as a text message or HTML. You know those messages that you are getting from LinkedIn or Facebook. You can put the message and convince the victim it's coming from whatever source you want and let me write anything just to see the proof of concept now let's go down i'm not a robot okay this is new uh, grace okay this has grace this has grace 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 yeah verify excellent now let me send and let's me let's see if it will come to the uh, which folder spam or regular mail excellent see so it seems that the mail came to the inbox he didn't came to a spam and I did that earlier on my hotmail account and let's see if it came to the yeah see so what I'm saying is when it comes to email spoofing this is very very dangerous sometimes we go to organization and company and uh, we test people awareness when it comes to email how people trust email because if people trust email blindly Imagine how many attack can be implemented because of that. You can send whatever you want. And actually, things will be more and more clear starting from next session when you start to create some fake website or create a link that will give you access to 
the victim machine. Now you need to convince the victim to click on this link. Mail will help you a lot. So my point is you should never trust the email blindly. Mail can be easily be uh, mail can be easily spoofed. And not just email. Even now they are spoofing uh, mobile numbers. So you may get a call coming from your bank, but actually it's not really your bank. Or they spoof SMS. So spoofing become very, very popular right now. So what I'm trying to say, do not trust email blindly because the email, even it's, if it's coming from specific name with the address, this could be a fake email. You should not trust email that blindly. And while we are doing awareness session to different organizations, we usually focus on that because mail, it's a very rich source for virus and hacking. And uh, so this knowledge need to be changed and this kind of blind trust of email need to be changed.